Briefly on me, um, I am the uh, CEO of Aquield. I oversee the day-to-day -day management, sales and distribution, and product development of our company. Um, Aquield has won numerous awards for our growth, research, and positive impact on the environment, which um, all of us at Aquield are very proud of. Um, I'm the face and voice of Aquield. Um, we could have chosen a, a much better face, um, but somehow mine was. Um, I've, I've appeared in Forbes, um, Entrepreneur Magazine, Crop Life, Agribusiness Global, um, amongst uh, a number of uh, different magazines um, and just uh, a few accolades. Uh, so that's quickly about myself. And let's get into it. I'm talking about NanoGrow. Uh, so NanoGrow is our top selling product out of all the different things that we sell. And so we thought to showcase and get this uh, webinars uh, as we discuss all of our different products, it made sense for us to start off with the number one, that being NanoGrow. So when we talk about our products in the future and through all of these different webinars, the, the way that we will just, um, go through them will be, what does the product do? Where is it sold and what is it sold on? What is in the product? When do you apply it? And what can you expect from the product? And the what to expect will actually be real life examples of when these products have been applied and visual and uh, scientific examples that we can showcase to you. So let's get right into it with NanoGrow. So NanoGrow, what does it do? So simply stated on the Aquiel website, on the far right of the top part of our website section of us describing our products, we say NanoGrow is a special mix that speeds up growth and builds soil health. So if there's anything that you can pull from this uh, presentation today on NanoGrow, that is that NanoGrow accomplishes two things, and it's a two-punch force of speeding up crop growth and then also building up soil health. So simply put, NanoGrow speeds up plants' growth and builds soil health. That's the amazing things that NanoGrow does. So where is NanoGrow sold and what is it sold on? Currently, NanoGrow is registered and sold in 46 of the uh, states in the U.S. of A. Um, so where you cannot purchase NanoGrow is the better question, and that being Vermont, Oregon, Nebraska, and Maine. And currently, we have it being sold in Australia. Um, and it's pending to be sold in Mexico, and um, we're waiting within days and weeks of, uh, of that happening, which we're very excited about. What are the ideal crops for NanoGrow for it to be put on? Um, when it comes to specialty crops, that being citrus, tomato, potatoes, sod, vegetables, and berries for specialty crops. When it comes to our field crops, um, NanoGrow is ideal for corn, cotton, soybeans, and wheat. And when it comes to the TNO industry, NanoGrow is ideal for greenhouse, lawn, nursery, and the golf industry. So as you will see, we've basically uh, encompassed every type of plant and industry that is under the sun when it comes to agriculture and horticulture. So NanoGrow is ideal and suitable for all of these applications. And that's why I believe um, we're repeatedly seeing it every month as our top seller, because it has application for all of these industries and types of crops. So what is in NanoGrow? Well, when you go to our website and you download our label or when you download our SDS, what you will see on NanoGrow is that it is a 7% nitrogen, 10% phosphate, and 1% potash. So it's a 7101 and contains those key macronutrients. But there's much, much more in NanoGrow than just those nutrients. And that's why people continue to repeatedly use it. And that's what we're going to discuss here today. So, of course, the main um, uh, macronutrients in NanoGrow are the 7101. But past that, we have a number of hormones in it. Um, that we will be diving into that address in um, all stages of a plant from germination all the way down to fruit sizing and maturity. 
So NanoGrow, the, the number one component of what helps NanoGrow work is the humic acid that we have in it. So what is humic acid? Humic acid, humic acid is a medium carbon chain. And what humic acid does is it complexes and chelates metal ions, such as magnesium, iron, and zinc. Um, other great things that humic acid does is it enhances soil microbial activity. It also can help build up soil structure. And another great thing it can do is improves nutrient retention in soil. So one of the main reasons why we have humic acid in NanoGrow is it's going to make a lot of the nutrients that are um, going to be sprayed out with NanoGrow work better. Um, and it's going to enhance soil activity. And it's going to make any soil structure get healthier and make that structure work better. And we have some evidence of this that we will showcase later. And so that's one of the key drivers of what makes NanoGrow work better and um, why we showcase it here. So after the humic acid, another key component of NanoGrow is gibberellic acid, also referred to as GA or gibberellins. Um, I'll refer to it as GA um, from here on. GA is a hormone found in plant fungi. What it does is it promotes growth and elongation of cells. It stimulates cells to germinate seeds faster. It also helps promote rapid stem and root growth. And it also can help plants come out of dormancy when used in small amounts. And that's why NanoGrow um, can be very beneficial when um, it's used at our four ounces to the acre rate. And um, in, in some cases where we've had growers just use the NanoGrow by itself, have seen uh, such great results with it, especially coming out of spring. Another key component of the NanoGrow is the mycorrhiza that we have in it. In our NanoGrow, the mycorrhizas that we use are endo and ecto forms of mycorrhiza. And both of these types of mycorrhiza are beneficial to soil profiles, all forms of soil. And mycorrhiza activates absorption of nutrients in all types of root systems. And they also aid in the exchange of sugar and water. So these all kind of build on to each other. I hope that everyone will see that as I go through the profiles of what's in NanoGrow. Also, in addition to the um, mycorrhiza, we have bacillus bacteria. Bacillus is a beneficial bacterium that can help synthetic fertilizer like the NPK that we have in nano, uh, NanoGrow work even better. Um, bacillus can increase the bioavailability of nutrients to break those minerals down into smaller parts for even better absorption. Also, bacillus can break down organic matter into even better usable nutrition. That's uh, one of the ways that Brittany Hunter stated, and I love how she put that. So bacillus bacteria can break down organic matter into more usable nutrition. And another uh, beneficial ingredient of adding soil into um, getting more beneficial ingredients into a soil profile is what bacillus is. And that's why we also add it into our nanogrow. So another key com uh, hormone that we have in nanogrow is cytokinin. Um, what we um, will call it is maybe cyto um, or just cytic is what you can hear it in the field. Um, cytokinin it will promote cell division in plant roots and shoots. Um, and that can all be oftentimes one of the most evident things when you're using nanogrow. Um, and you'll see that in some of the photos that I'll showcase here at the end of these slides. Um, cytokinin um, helps participate in the germination and also in the cell initiation of crops. Um, and then it can also help promote bud growth and flowering. Um, one unique thing about cytokinin is it can slow down the aging of crops, and that's done by preventing the protein synthesis. So this can be ideal in greenhouse crops if they're not quite ready for shipment or if the buyer's not quite, um, if a wholesaler is not ready to send that uh, to the buyer and for that buyer to send that to a retailer. Um, and one thing that's really important is the cytokinins, they work in concert with the other beneficial auxins, which I'll get, be getting to next. And that's one of the key drivers of NanoGrow is our cytokinins coupled with our auxins is uh, you know, one of the secret sauces of why they work so well. So the auxins that we have are IAA and ABIA. Um, IAA is indole acetic acid and ABA being referred to as 
as abscisic acid. So these were the first major plant hormones discovered. Um, and why we use them is they're essential for plant body and development. Um, they help with seed and bud germination all the way to stomato closure and senescence. So from stage one to stage four, these auxins can help a plant. Um, in addition, these auxins can help aid in the response to the myriad of environmental stresses that a crop could go through. Uh, if that's drought or uh, a dip in the temperature being cold, or if it's uh, a, a, a brief freezing that's happening, or if uh, you have soil salinity or heavy metals in your soil, the auxins can help um, your crop go through those instances. Um, and, and again, auxins work in concert with cytokinin, um, and that is one of the secret sauces of how we've been able to formulate NanoGrow and why they work so well together. So when do you apply NanoGrow and what do you apply it on? Well, previously we discussed the different crops that you apply it on. And as you can see, NanoGrow can be applied um, through a myriad of stages during um, a crop's application. And as uh, Brittany discussed um, at the start of our presentation here today, um, NanoGrow can be applied so many different times. Um, where most growers, we believe, see the most bang for their buck with NanoGrow, I would say is in stage one or stage two. That's when they are seeing um, just tremendous um, help with germination and vegetative growth. Um, and then in addition, towards the end, on some growers, they've seen help on fruit size and maturity. But if uh, someone came to me and asked me specifically when they would need get the most bang for their buck out of NanoGrow, I would say that would be during stage one and stage two. So what can you expect when applying NanoGrow in the field? What have we seen in the field? Um, we have seen things like this with um, on day 10 on some mats from a, a greenhouse grower in Colorado, he saw this type of growth on microgreens, which was pretty phenomenal for him. Typically, you would see about half this much coverage of these microgreens when he was applying half a milliliter of NanoGrow in his greenhouse space. So NanoGrow really helped these crops express their genetic potential to grow at such a better rate. So that was phenomenal for us to see. Also in a greenhouse trial um, in Japan, we saw an increase of yield by 60% when NanoGrow was applied one time per week on cherry tomatoes in a hydroponic setting. So again, NanoGrow applied once a week helped them exponentially increase their yield, which was awesome. Other great things we've seen with NanoGrow, and this is instead of just weekly, um, this was when NanoGrow was applied every two to three weeks um, by a foliar spray rig on a turf grass um, production facility, citrus production facility, and a cattle ranch. Over a three-year period of time, they saw an increase of their CEC levels, their cation exchange capacity, increased by 50%. And why that was uh, such a game changer for this farm, Bethel Farms in Arcadia, Florida, is now where all their soils are seeing an increase to hold the capacity of nutrients so much better. And better efficiency by their nutrients holding onto soil means better crops. And so NanoGrow is a fundamental part of their program. Um, this year, um, Water Farms in Idaho um, they've reported more root mass after two applications of NanoGrow with NanoK. Um, it's evident with uh, the Oak wheel on the top uh, photo, as you can see. Um, next Tuesday, uh, Mr. Chase Anders, myself, will be viewing this uh, early yield, and uh, we're excited to learn more. Um, also this year on a corn trial in Michigan, you can see uh, just the amount of root mass and just how much thicker the stem is on the standard infrared program to the far left versus the middle standard program with NanoGrow being added. Look how much more root mass and root hairs you have there. Then you have the reduced infrared from five gallons to two three quarter gallons of 1034-0, and then they just added four ounces of NanoGrow. So NanoGrow, again, it's evident here where Adding some nanogrow, the cytokinins and the gibberellin acid is just helping 
those roots about uh, develop and you get so much more root mass in a healthier plant. And that's why it's, it's such a, a game changer and helpful to growers. Lastly, um, as Brittany showcased here, but I think it's such a great story, I wanted to showcase it again. Um, that far right photo of two weeks later is literally hot off the presses as of last Friday. Um, we'll have another photo as a follow-up on uh, uh, tomorrow, I guess is when that will be. And um, you will see um, what that crop looked like beforehand. And what NanoGrow did is when it was in combination with um, all of the myriad of, uh, of nutrients that were put out, it just made everything work much better and helped that soil um, that was um, in a very tough situation. We're talking um, a highly arid situation in Arizona with temperatures that were very much above 120 degrees um, in a very dry situation where NanoGrow really helped that crop um, get to the next level. And so NanoGrow, this is why NanoGrow is our, one of our, is our top uh, product. And these are the type of experiences that we see growers experience day in, day out.